Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Ayaka Styles. If you are new, hi, my name is Ayaka and I create fashion content here on YouTube as well as Instagram, Ayaka Styles one. So if you are interested in fashion, make sure to hit subscribe and follow. And so today's video, it is going to be Zara jacket try on haul, jacket and a coat try on haul. Yeah, so let's right jump into the video. So the first item, I'll go from randomly, but the yeah, first one where you can see in the pink. Oops. So this is the first coat, it's a pink coat, and different one from the one I reviewed before. And it's a lot more classic fit. So it is a timeless piece, 100%. And for the bottom, it is same color as the coat. So I would say it gives a lot more classy vibe. If I close, let's see. Yeah, if I close, oh yeah, it is very classic look. And lengthwise, I am 5'2". It gives you a little bit of, you know, idea where it would fit on your body. Uh, if you're taller, I think it fits like this and it will look a lot more flattering but with me it's right below ankle which still keeps me warm positive in terms of the sizing i got extra small and it depending on what you want to wear how you want to wear your preference for me for this kind of classic coat i wouldn't want to wear them baggy so i i think this looks fine but what I feel right now is a little bit uncomfortable because I'm wearing sweater and this is like more practical way to wear it in terms of, you know, upcoming season, fall or winter especially. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be super comfortable wearing, like I know if I'm having big bag, like big bag you if you wanna if I want to put on the shoulder I feel like it's a little bit too tacky it's not comfortable but other than that the fit wise I mean looks wise it's very pretty I think or I can just have a small bag that I just shoulder bag have it here so I don't have to worry about this being a little too tight you know yeah it's really pretty though this one I really like it and it is lined as well as the pocket it is real I believe it is real it just stitched at the moment for the sanitary purposes I believe yeah I really like this coat what do you think do you like this one better or this one let me know in the comment all right so the next item it is a kilted knit coat I think and price is $179 I got size extra small to small and fits me like a blanket <laughs> I think it's very much a trend fit though. I can see a lot of uh, stylish people with this kind of coat, you know what I mean? But from back, it definitely looks like a blanket. And one thing I should tell you about this one, it's super heavy. Like I wouldn't be able to wear this for a long amount of time, especially with a turtleneck and sweaters. Maybe if you have blaze underneath, definitely not. It's heavy I feel like I'm gonna have like shoulder pain but in terms of the looks it's really pretty I like the detail of the buttons or it's pretty it's buttons you know it's like wooden looking button and again it's a shape it is oversized very much um, trendy shape kilted of course it's a trend of this this season it came in last year it was a little bit controversial but it seems like it's been decided but uh, yeah, for me, this one is past. It's heavy. I, yeah, it's heavy. All right, so this is the third one. It's a black fitted coat with gigantic fur around the sleeves. And I got size small and price is $219 in Canadian. And it is also Monteco Italian fabric wool. And it feels gorgeous, feel, looks gorgeous. I think gorgeous. I mean, this is full fur, so you don't have to worry too much about, you know, animal cruelty situation. It's pretty. And I, we saw a lot of, like, a fur on the runway for two, uh, fall winter collection. So I think this would be kind of a 
trendy yet luxury classic fit. It's because they, this part, it is a classic regular fit. I think you can wear this for a long time. Another thing is this one, I will say you can wear three, four ways. One is classic, you can close the button, put the belt on like a default, or just open the buttons, second. Or you can uh, open the buttons and tie it at the back a little bit so that it will cinch in the a little bit like a waistline, it will look a lot more slimmer. I think, yeah, you can enjoy in multiple ways. But uh, in terms of the warmth, it's very nice. And in terms of the fit, I am wearing chunky knit. Once again, it's the same knit and it fits me a lot more comfortable. So maybe for the pink one, I should try small if I want to wear a chunky sweater like this. But uh, yeah, it's very much more comfortable. Yeah, it's very nice. I like it. And I forgot to mention, this one, it is lined. And the last one, the knit one, it's not lined. All right, so this is the fourth jacket. It's so soft. It's like a holder. My cat is hugging me, that kind of feeling. It's really soft. And so I got size small and price is $179 plus. That's in Canadian. One mistake though, I wore black underneath and I think it's now it's full of white neck like faux fur on this sweater. I can see on my sleeve. But other than that, it looks very pretty. I don't feel anything is tacky, but if you're not a big fan of oversized fit, I think this is way too big kind of look. I mean, it's all up to your preference. What do you think? I feel like it's a little bit too big. I could go for extra small, do you think? It's a little bit too big, but uh, it feels really good. In terms of the color, it's nice off-white. It's soft once again, like a suede-ish finish. It has a lot of um, buttons here. And this part, it is actually sort of adjustable. You can keep it open if you want to. It doesn't do too much. And pocket has a zipper, so it's always nice to have zipper, especially in winter. You know, everything is kind of tacky and you don't know where your phone is, keys, coins are. Yeah. All right, so the next item, it is a, I think it's a water repellent, repellent, puffer coat. It looks like a kind of full leather and feels very plasticky though. <laughs> And the color is a beautiful dark brown, which I really like. I do enjoy wearing puffer coat as I live in Canada. It's puffer coat is like one of the warmest jacket. But there is days that you don't want to wear some full length coat, but to want to wear puffer jacket. That, so this is like one of those days you want to do that. It's perfect. Uh, I wouldn't personally wear like this combination. Probably I'll be wearing something shorter. Like, this is more ideal, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm just giving you an idea how it fits. I got size extra small. Oh yeah, the price is $99.90 in Canadian. And I would size this down. Uh, the reason is very puffy finish. I mean, it's puffer coat, jacket. So if you get size bigger, or like your usual size, I feel like it's gonna be like Baymax kind of look. But it's very nice and I think it was saying something about temperature. Yeah, so it is water repellent and it is a TRF heat PWR measures the heat capacity of our garments against different weather conditions and it says up to minus 15 Celsius degrees. So that is very good, very good. If you live in somewhere cold, Canada, like Canada in general or Colorado, you know, this is for you. This is another one. Okay, this is my least favorite so far in terms of the fit. I mean, again, probably the reason is what I'm wearing underneath. But let's say it's a regular fit like this. Even then, I don't know. I feel like I should have gotten size smaller, which I got size small and price is 99 or 90 cents. And in terms of the thickness, it's very thin. So definitely only for transitional 
season or if you live in warmer uh, climate then this is for you but in terms of design it's pretty um, but yeah this at the bottom it, it's for some reason elasticated I don't know if that's necessary and if I close yeah I think I needed a size smaller or size bigger this is somewhere in between that's not too buggy but buggy and at the wrist you can actually tighten the string here so if it's cold you can tighten it and the air doesn't come through yeah it's not bad but it just the sizing was wrong for me so it's kind of hard to say but I like how it looks from the back it looks like a baseball jacket yeah. so the one last item it is this kilted khaki coat or jacket it is my favorite so far it is reversible and I guess size uh, medium price is $79.90 and it is thermal insulation it says warm garment harsh weather conditions but it doesn't say what temperature it is good for but uh, yeah I can feel it is one of those that keeps you somewhat warm so I will say like zero degrees it's no problem depending on what you wear underneath but yeah I really I was looking for like this one I saw one from ASOS but it was sold out so yeah I got size medium on this one from Zara and I am very happy and also it is $79 I think cheapest one of all and reversible so like two in one it's a deal isn't it yeah so I'd like to wear this like this or even like a little bit of a dress and with uh, these boots I think it would be like super cute yeah I think so but yeah this one is already my favorite if you like to wear it like oversized feel like this size up I'm usually small or extra small as you saw and I went medium so pretty sized up I am very happy with this sizing up so if you want to wear like a little bit more fitted fit more like a jacket rather than coat fit then stick to your usual size but otherwise I forgot to show you how it is looks like when it's closed well when it's closed it's not that flattering I mean it's like super boxy you know I sized up so but I am happy with this one I probably wear this to cottage mm. let's see so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe I have a lot of Zara haul on this channel so I hope you enjoy other videos as well and there is a playlist here I will link them here maybe so enjoy <laughs> anyways I will see you in the next video Bye.